Philippine Star columnist and PBA analyst Kenito Henson, who is joining us also live via Zoom. Welcome to the big story, Sir Kenito. Hi there. Nice to see you, Ed, and nice to see you, Gretchen. Good evening, sir. Sir, how do you assess the performance so far Sir of uh, Kito, Gilas? Sir uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Gretchen. Go, go. Anyway. Well, a slow start for the Philippines. Let's just say, Ed, it's a shame that he's not here live. Come on, na. But uh, <laughs> I wanted to make myself available for your show. That's why I'm here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, me, me what, what's what's you like about this game is that, number one, Mm. We are out with bounding Saudi Arabia. We're out with bounding them by seven. I think we've also done very well in holding down our turnovers. You remember, of course, when Atalo Tayo in Lebanon, we had 21 turnovers, and that really was the difference maker. But this time, only six turnovers plus 10 assists. So you assist to turnover ratio natin, looking good. Mm -hmm. Sir, um, uh, no, uh, well, I understand na wala yung right. parang power uh, yung power player ng, uh, ng uh, Saudi who is uh, Muhammad al Sualem. Uh, how does that factor into how the game is being played tonight? Well, he's a 6'10 player, so he definitely would have been an impact. But you know, with uh, Saudi Arabia, they generate their offense not really from their bigs, but from their guards. They have a, a, a good set of guards and wingmen who can distribute the ball and who can get the open shot. So um, I really think that uh, the only way that Saudi Arabia can beat us is if they hit like maybe 50% the three-point shots. But that's not going to happen. I think our defense is going to be a lot stiffer, a lot tighter in the second half. And I think we're going to blow them away before this game is over. Uh, Sir Kinito, I, I'm just very curious because uh, sabi nga ng uh, mga coaching staff dito, we're looking at the long-term program for Gilas. So if this is quite an easy win, what do you think would be crucial? And what would you like to see in the second half of how these boys gel together? Well, I'd like to see tougher defense. And uh, I noticed that uh, in stretches in the first half, Saudi Arabia was very vulnerable to the trap because their ball, ca ball carriers are not exactly the, the, the best in, uh, in Asia. So I think they're going to be very vulnerable um, and susceptible to turnovers, especially when we tighten the grips on, uh, on our trap. Uh, but uh, let's see how that goes, because while we concentrate on uh, defense and so far, by the way, that's been very good. We held Saudi Arabia to 14 points in the first quarter another 14 points in the second quarter that's very good considering that in the second quarter we had 26 points but of course we had that slow start we only had 11 points in the first quarter but you're going to see jordan clarkson assert his uh, superiority a lot more i don't think so much on the offensive end in terms of scoring points i'd like to see him passing that ball and getting his teammates involved in the offense Sir, you said a while ago that you expect uh, the Gilas team to blow them away before, uh, or at least during the second half. Uh, is it fair to say that you're, that's already your, your fearless forecast for the entire game today? Or, or uh, is it, uh, no, is it uh, just uh, a hopeful uh, no. <laughs> is it just well, a hopeful pitch? <clears throat> Let's put it this way, Ed. It's my fearful uh, forecast fearful. instead of fearless Why forecast. Fearful? <laughs> but, uh, but I think we have the capability of doing that. I think we can blow them away. If we just make sure that our trap defense is in sync and then their ball carriers are not able to cross that line and get their shots off within 24 seconds, I think we have a good chance of blowing this team away. Once we get our offensive gears going, I think we're going to see a very, very fluid uh, Gilas on the floor. Sir Kinito, we're already seeing the core of the FIBA World Cup team forming at this point. How do you think uh, this pool or this lineup could fare against some of the bigger teams like China, Lebanon, and Japan? I'm very excited. Uh, but uh, you also have to remember that uh, we will be getting some players from the two PBA teams that are playing in the finals. So Junmar Fajardo, CJ Perez, those guys are uh, are our Pogoy. Those guys are probably going to come into the pool as well. But, uh, you know, it's not a matter of getting the best players. It's a matter of getting the best team yeah. to perform like a unit. And I think the uh, three months of preparation that uh, are being planned for Gilas, I think we're going to be in very, very good shape when the World Cup comes around.